So I ended up spending about 10 days in the hospital with a tube in my chest to flush out and and uh, suck out all the blood and pus and whatever else like had filled up my chest cavity from my lung collapsing. Ugh. It was pretty gross. And I was next to... I was in a room with Ow. like three guy, three other dudes. Two of which I think had the same type of thing that I had. But they were much more heavier set. So I guess it was like... It's more common in heavy set people. Oh, god damn it. Gosh dang it. And, um... I remember they gave me like drugs for the pain, which helped. But the drugs that they gave me for the pain, which I think was Vicodin, also made it so I couldn't hold any food down. Oh no, so you're like puking on top of having- Yeah, so like I'd have a bowl of cereal and as soon as I finished like the last drop of milk in the bowl of cereal, I'd immediately like regurgitate it all back Ugh. into the bowl. And um, I remember this lady was visiting her husband or brother, whoever it was at the time, in one of the beds next to me. And, uh, she's like, oh, you poor thing, like, <laughs> you need to eat something. I'm like, I tr I literally am Ooh. trying to, and I can't hold anything down, so she was <laughs> Lady, like... fuck off. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, and I remember my girlfriend come, came to the hospital to visit me while I was there. And that's when you gave her the Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Actually, I'd already given it to her. I oh. I, I'd seen her before the, this whole thing transpired. But, um, yeah, it wasn't shortly thereafter I got out of the hospital and, like, my girlfriend hmm. basically told me, like, she had been a shitty girlfriend and had cheated on me <laughs> and we were breaking up. Oh, awesome. So it was, like, the worst possible... She did that in the hospital or after you got out? After I got out. She at least had the decency to wait until I was, like, somewhat healthy again. She was waiting to see if she could get away with you, like, oh, maybe he'll die and I want to let him know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. God, shucks. <laughs> so, um, you know, I spent about a month in Spain, kind of just, like, on the mend. All I right, couldn't... I keep getting lost in my own light. God damn it. I couldn't... Sorry. I still couldn't eat anything for, like, a week after I got out of the hospital, so I lost about 20 pounds. I mean, uh, you were already super skinny. Yeah, at this time, I was six foot... six feet tall already. <laughs> Um, I weighed about 145 pounds when I went into the hospital, and I only weighed about 120 and change when I came out. So, um, I was not in good shape. I was like a skeleton. Oh, bam. And I spent like days in bed just like trying to not think about food or my stomach or nausea or anything. Or your shitty ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then, um, after that month went by, I went back to the States. I'm stuck in a loop. And I think you have to bounce off the wall there. Okay. And, uh, went back to the States. And my father had this trip planned to go, like, all around the national parks from, like, the west coast. East, east, easterly, I guess. Okay. And, um... We would zigzag along the country. So we'd start in, in like California, go to Yosemite. We make our way across like uh, to New Mexico, Nevada, like mm -hmm. that area. Then go up to Idaho. Then come back down to Colorado and Wyoming. And then I think we would fly back from Denver. You guys never did that trip before. Yeah, we'd never done that trip before, and I really wanted to do it because I wanted to go... One of the oh. things I wanted to do was we'll go whitewater rafting, and... So you're fully recovered at this point, though. Well, I was, yeah. And uh, so we we rented a car in California after we got out of Is that LAX. All I have to do here? And, um... Am I done? No, I think you still have to go up. I did all the uppies, though. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I just... What the fuck am I doing now? I think I did everything. I just had to get the blue stuff that was in there. Really? I want some of that purple track. Is there a thing up there? It looks like there is. There you go. You got an ability point. Okay, ability. All right, so I think now that I got that, I have everything that's in here. Because um, when I go up here, there's it's just dead end. Because this goes... Never mind, I stand corrected. <laughs> you may want to save after doing all that. Good point. So white water rafting. So yeah, I was I was like psyched. Fuck. <laughs> good good thing you saved. 
Thanks, Ox. <laughs> Piece of shit. Um, so we rented a car at LAX, drove up into the mountains. What? Okay. In Yosemite National Park. Uh. And we got there like late in the evening and we had a, like a, it wasn't exactly a tent, but it was one of those like wooden frame, like canvas covered, uh, type of tents. Okay. I guess you could say. And we stayed in there with my dad and my sister. And then the next morning we went to like this main hall that they had to go get breakfast. What am I? And as we're eating breakfast, I start feeling this pain again. And I'm like, Your other oh one no. Collapses. And I'm like, I know exactly what this is now because I've felt it before. So I told my dad and he I immediately drove me to the clinic on the, on the park premises. And, um, oh, they took an x-ray and said, yep, your lung collapsed again. So, uh, the same one. Yeah. The same one. Oh God. So we're going to have to sedate you and we're going to have to airlift you to Modesto, California to the nearest place that will do. Dude, fuck your lungs. Yeah, exactly. I mean, your lungs are a dick. So, um, I, gotta, uh, I think you have to get that yeah, other I have to one. Push this. Can I, ow, I should have known that was going to happen. Ha! No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, they sedated me. My dad like filmed them like putting me on the helicopter. Oh, cool! As they airlift me out, all you can really see is my feet sticking out of the gurn, like the gurney. It's still. Oh wait, no, this stays here now. Yeah, I'm just push the other one. All right, so I was kind of right. Um. So um. I mean, that's thrilling, but it also super sucks. Yeah, I remember waking up on the helicopter ride, and like one of the EMTs had like full helicopter gear on. Right. Just like looks, looks at me, he's like, "Yeah, we're in the air. You're like, you can just go back to sleep. There's nothing really to see." So I just passed right the fuck out again, and then I spent another couple of days in the hospital in Modesto with a roommate who was mentally challenged and who had just got his appendix removed and didn't understand what stitches were, so he kept oh, ripping no. them open. And he kept bleeding, like peeing all over the floor. Ugh. So had had to deal with that while I was in my own misery. And the doctor came in like the second day I was there, and told me that um, there was like more than a seventy-five percent chance that I, this was going to happen again unless I had surgery done. So but I thought you had that surgery already in Spain. No, this was like going to be like. Uh, laparoscopic surgery like uh -huh. where they're gonna have to staple my lung from the inside so um i basically had like no choice so i said yes they did the surgery i spent oh, another yeah. 10 days in the hospital and lost like another 20 pounds so it was <laughs> oh, like man. down to like less than 110 pounds at this point and it didn't help that the hospital food sucked oh of course not and then I finally got out of the hospital and I asked the doctor, I was like, so can I still go whitewater rafting? He's like, absolutely <laughs> not. So like my whole summer was like, I mean, it wasn't to totally destroyed, but I had to go, I, ha I couldn't go whitewater rafting and I had to like pace myself whenever we like hiked anywhere because oh, yeah. I would run out of breath really, really quickly. So yeah, that was my 17th, that was just before my 18th birthday. My, my final summer for college, and it just sucked balls. I don't know what do. I think you have to get them to shoot the door with the purple thing. Some of that purple drank. I'm trying, but it won't do. Ah! We almost got him to do it. Over here. Over here. Over here. Look at my Ori. Are you sure? I think you're a liar. It's got like a purple yeah, sig no, signia. Yeah, no, I know, but it won't do. What? <laughs> you're like stuck in a wedge. I am most certainly it. <laughs> there we go. That's fair. <sighs> I want to go up. Up. Wedge said no. Up! <laughs> Here, you do it. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, you're supposed to be better at this than, than- Oh, you can shoot him? Yeah. Oh, you're a dickhead. You should have told me that. I should have known. I still fucked up though, I'm not gonna be able to pull this I off. I am the dickhead. I thought it was one of those things that didn't take any damage, and because of the purple, I thought I needed to keep him alive. But I was a wrong. Dude, that summer sucked. Yeah, it really did. That, that really blows. There we go. Ew, I hate it now. It was all gross. It was a dangly do. It was indeed. Where am I? Um. Come over here. Jiggle it. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Jiggle it. Alright, so going down here. Fuck. Are you serious? Wait. You're all over there's the place. Piece, yeah, there's a piece over here that I need to get. Still. You want, you want to get a piece of that? Um... There's, there's two pieces of that. You want to get a piece of that, and then get a piece of that? Nailed it! Fucked it up! N nailed it! You gotta jump the other way. Jump the other way! Oh, oh. You got a Chivo, though. Nice. You got some more of that blue drink. Alright. You so do I it. This one first. Whoa. Oh, is she, oh, is she tough? Damn it. Shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Stop pooping your pants. It's hard to predict exactly the moment, like, I'm gonna come out of there. The, um, the, the teleports absolutely accelerate you a lot, too. Yeah. So you come out of there a lot faster than you go in. Um, there's nothing on top that you need to get, right? Oh, that's your exit. God damn it. Alright, so now um, I can go through jump. here. You did it. This tree is an asshole. It really is. A very spiky asshole. Don't like it. Oh, you can do this. <laughs> I yeah. always forget, forget that you can do that. You, you, you were very good at remembering. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh. Get it? Oh. Gonna have to double jump back. <sighs> you blow it up. <laughs> How did I go you back through it? You jumped, you double jumped right back into it. You were, uh, too quick on the draw. What? Oh, you're, you're on the bottom. Middle? There you go. You got all the things. Oops. That's a satisfying sound. Yeah. Sounds like something out of Soul Calibur when you're like ready yes. up. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's like in the menu still. Yeah. <laughs> as a dismay, I hear deep inside this ancient Tessar Sea. Reem is at Reem. Is that a person that we met before or a thing? Are we going to get Dash Powers, Ives? I think we are. In the butt. You've learned Bash. Uh, that's not as fun. <laughs> Hold the near lanterns or enemy projectiles and aim direction you like to leave. Is there anything over here? Nope. You got to learn how to use it on the thing. 
That's why, right? It's the yellow skittle. Oh, it's like Area of Sorrow, I think, was the Castlevania that did that on the touchscreen DS game thing. <laughs> okay, I'll take your word for it. It's a really stupid mechanic. <laughs> Alright, I know I'm gonna fuck this up, so... No, you're not. You're gonna get it on your first try. Oh, fucking nailed it! Come on, Ives! Oh, so good! There's a thing down there, though. Yeah. Oh, you got it, okay. She use a Billy Point. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, I thought you just did. Air Dash. We need two points for it. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm gonna save up. Oh, fuck. Oh, it actually gets rid of the projectile, sends it, sends it the other way. That's cool. I didn't, oh, I know what I need to do that. I didn't pick up on that before. There we go. That's cool. What a smart thing to add to a game. Um, it just brings me out here. Yeah, but you gotta you have to send the projectile back out that way. All right. That's tricky. No, it's not. You'll get it on your first try because you're such a good game person. Thing. Don't fuck it up. Oh yeah. Good hits. You never played any of the, um, the Castlevanias that came out, like, post Super Nintendo? Or even on the Super Nintendo? No, I never was able to get my hands on one of their games when I was younger. I think the only one I played actually was for N64. Oh, you sh probably should not have played that one. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the worst one, like, by far? Probably? I don't know. I don't know about worse. I'm, there's, I'm sure there's, like, worse that I don't even know about, but... Whew, that's bad. <laughs> oh, go back. There are things down there. What things? There are things down there. I don't see no things. There are things down there. Go back. I'm not going back. Go back and to the left, there are things. Where? I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying, there are things down there. You gotta blow up that, that block thingy. And then you can go in and get whatever that blue shiny stuff is on the oh, other I see side. What you're talking about. Okay. Oh, aim careful. Fuck. Make sure your aim is true. That looks pretty good. No? It's got some weight to it. Yep. It's a really neat idea to have that catch and release. Fuck. You gotta get it when you're up high. Or even probably closer there. Ooh, it looks good. Nope. Man, this is really gonna fuck me up when I get the controller back. Yeah, it is. Oh man, this is gonna fuck me up. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Nope. Come on. It's got a lot of weight to it. it really does. That should have. Oh, hit. that was really close. That should have counted. Nah. Hit hey, yourself. Poopy now gosh. where the hell are we? <laughs>